Now, where did you go? Um, most people in Portland went to the Portland Assembly Center, and how did you get there? The majority, the predominance of Portland people, of course, went to the Portland Livestock, renamed the Portland Assembly Center. That was a place, of course, that they marshaled up most of the people in Multnomah and surrounding counties as sort of a temporary home. Yes, we did go there. But I think one of the most stressful periods was leading up to that time. History, of course, will record Executive Order 9066, and which was very recently, by the way, stricken off the records, and General John DeWitt's order and the curfew. All of those things are recorded in the annals of history, but from a family point of view. In our case, my older sister and brother are in Japan. And how are we going to unite our family again was obviously a major concern to my parents. When you're six or seven or eight years old, you're concerned that your sibling, brother, sister are far away but you do not understand the hazards and consequences of a war. Certainly they had deep, serious concerns. And then came the order that we're going to have to, if you will, evacuate and leave to the Portland Assembly Center. And in our case, having had four children with a hotel business, with a fruit and vegetable stand business, to get rid of those businesses, to get rid of your possessions, to close bank accounts, and all the other things and the myriad of responsibilities that one has to do in a matter of days must have been an awesome task facing my parents. And when you think of only the bag and baggage you can carry, I remember years later when we had the Day of Remembrance out at the Portland Exposition Center, our family had a number, was the theme. I remember taking my daughter Dina there and telling her that, you know, Dad and his Jichan and Bachan had to pack only what they can carry. Tell me, Dina, could you pack everything you want into a bag if someone told you that you're going to go somewhere and you're never going to come back to this house again? Oh, no, never. Well, Jichan and Bachan had to do that. Not only that, there are many rules. You can't bring knives, you can't bring radios, you can't bring cameras, you can't bring a lot of things. But do indeed bring warm clothing bring rubber boots, bring mittens. So, Ji-chan and Ba-chan, my parents, Kane and Shigeo Nakata, had to not only get rid of that council radio to the policeman on the beat, but their phonograph player and their camera and all the other things that they had and they are hoping that Adam can take some of the things and put it away for us. We had Japanese culture in terms of the festival, the Boys Day and the, Jap and the Girls Day. Now, of course, combined as Children's Day in Japan, but during those years, it was Japan, it was Girls Day, Hinamatsuri, it was Boys Day. You learn about Kintaro, you learn about uh, all the various dolls, and my mother had all the dolls that which she would put up on Girls Day. And on Boys Day, she'd put up all the boys' dolls. We had those kinds of prized possessions. But what do you do with those? You couldn't take them. And so we only took what we could take. And a lot of those somehow got lost in the shuffle. And only a few scattering of things did we ever 
get back when we came back after the war ended. So uh, the few days, the few weeks leading up to the actual movement to the Portland Assembly Center may not have been long. It may have been from December till March or April or May, but and different families went on different days, of course. But packing a large suitcase, or packing this big duffel bag, uh, moving and getting on a bus, uh, going out to the Portland Assembly Center was quite, a, quite an experience even for a youngster. Uh, 